Okay, in this next lesson, section 4.5, we're going to take some time um, to study the graphs of tangent and cotangent. Uh, and then also we'll look at secant and cosecant graphs. Uh, so we'll just kind of hit all four of the other functions. Uh, you see them uh, really less often than the sine and the cosine, which is why we kind of spent more time uh, just on those two. We'll just kind of brush over these four real quick uh, so you kind of know what their graphs look like and, and how to sketch their graphs. Okay, we'll begin with tangent. Um, and again, just like with the sine and the cosine graphs, it's a new function, so we begin with a table of values. And we can pick anything that we want uh, for the tangent graph. What I'm going to pick though, let's look at um, Let's look at pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2. Now at pi over 2, uh, if you look at the tangent of pi over 2, pi over 2 would be the y coordinate divided by the x. Let's write that down. Um, tangent is the y divided by the x. Um, so at pi over 2, you have a y value of 1 and an x value of 0. y divided by x is undefined. Um, at pi, you have 0 divided by 1, or 0 divided by negative 1, still 0. And 3 pi over 2, um, you've got another, um, in this case it'll be negative 1 divided by 0. You have another undefined. Okay. Um, not a lot to go off because undefined, they aren't really points, we can't plot those. But let's kind of do our best to describe what they're going to look like on our graph. Um, I'm going to go ahead and divide this out the same way we were doing um, for sine and cosine, so pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. Same thing over here. Okay. Um, Alright, well let's think about this. The undefined values, what can they look like on our graph? Um, undefined are going to be vertical asymptotes. So we're going to have a vertical asymptote at pi over 2 and at 3 pi over 2. Okay. Now, in between those two vertical asymptotes at pi, a value of zero. That's not really enough to go on. Let's let's throw a couple of other values um, between pi over two and pi, and, and pi and three pi over two. Let's throw in these two values right here. If you were to look on your circle, um, halfway between pi over two and pi, you would find um, the value. 3 pi over 4, and halfway between pi and 3 pi over 2, you'd find the value 5 pi over 4. Okay, so we're going to take the y divided by x of the point at 3 pi over 4, which would be a y value of, uh, let's see, that is square root of 2 over 2, and an x of negative square root of 2 over 2, uh, so this is going to be negative 1. And at 5 pi over 4, they have the same value. x and y are both negative square root of 2 or 2, so the two negatives would divide out to be positive 1. So that's going to give us kind of more, a, a clear picture of what's going on. Negative 1, positive 1. That's not just a straight line, because then we're going to go right through our asymptotes, but it's going to be a curve that approaches our asymptotes. And it looks like that. 
And so really there are, um, there's not really five key points, there's really right here three key points. But they are between a couple of vertical asymptotes. Um, now some differences between this and sine and cosine. Um, here you have a period, um, but the period is just pi units. It's not 2 pi anymore. Um, so if you look at this, the, the undefined points, the vertical asymptotes, are pi units apart. Okay. So if I wanted another period, I'd have to go pi units, pi units to the left of this one. There's another asymptote. Another pi units to the left puts me there. Um, the pattern of points between the asymptotes, again, it's zero directly in the middle. Negative one to the left of that, positive one to the right of that, and there we have it. So now we're looking at three periods of tangent. Okay, let's look at the graph of cotan x. Again, we'll take uh, a table of values. Uh, pick anything you want. This time I'm going to go uh, with 0 to start. Um, that would put pi over 2 in the middle and pi uh, at 0. And you know, notice with cotan, we're looking x divided by y. Uh, at zero, um, it's going to be one divided by zero, which is undefined. At pi over two, it's going to be zero divided by one, which is zero. And at pi, it's going to be the same as at zero. It's going to be undefined. Notice some similarities between the two tables, the so one from tangent and this one already showing up. Um, let's go ahead and and get our graph set up with just kind of those markings on it. I'm going to mark it the same as normal. Okay, so there's the markings on the x-axis. Uh, this one is going to have vertical asymptotes at um, at zero and at pi. Well, zero is just right here. You can't see it, but it's right on top of the y-axis. Here's one at pi. Okay, so right in between those two vertical asymptotes at pi over two, we're at zero. So now the question is, what about the other sides uh, of pi over 2? So let's go into our table and let's, uh, let's try pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. That'll pick up these two spots right there. Uh, so at pi over 4, it's x over y. Uh, at pi over 4, the x and the y are both square root of 2 over 2, so if you divide them, you get 1. At 3 pi over 4, uh, the point is uh, negative square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, which is going to reduce to negative 1. Same three points, same three key points, um, except it was for tangent negative 1 and positive 1. The, the 1 and negative 1 have flipped places. Um, but that makes their graphs pretty similar. Um, and that at pi over 4, at this one, you're at positive 1. 3 pi over 4, you're at negative 1. And then just curve between the asymptotes. And there's cotangent. It has a period, just like tangent, of pi units. So if I want to get the next period, I can go pi units away. Go pi units this way, 
another pi units. And we can get as many periods as we want that our graph will fit. The pattern between the asymptotes is positive one, zero, negative one. And positive one, zero, negative one. And positive one, zero, negative one. Okay. Uh, if you look at the graph of tangent and the graph of cotangent side by side, yeah, you'll notice a, a couple of things. Um, let me see if I can bring the graph of my tangent graph in here. So let's see, hopefully we can see both of those side by side now. Um, uh, cotangent is a decreasing function, tan is an increasing function. Um, they're basic ones. Tan goes up, cotan goes down. Um, of course, if they were negative, they could reflect and they could look differently, of course. But as they are here, one comes down, one goes up. Uh, the other thing is where the asymptotes are. Uh, the cotangent has the y-axis as an asymptote. And then every integer value of pi are where the asymptotes are at. Uh, tangent its asymptotes are on the half pies. Period is still pi units apart. 